Hey everyone, I hope you've had a great week and are enjoying the sunshine. Speaking of sunshine, have you noticed how the weather's been changing a lot recently? One day it can be really sunny and hot, and the next day it can be really wet and cold. It's like the weather's playing tricks on us. Talking about tricks, today we're going to be looking at the story of how one of the twins, Jacob, had tricked the other. First of all, have you ever dressed up to pretend to be someone that you're not? I'm going to dress up as somebody and let's see if you can guess who I am. So first of all, I'm going to put on these trousers which look pretty big. Next we're going to get this jacket, also looks pretty big but I And lastly, this hat. So, have you guessed who I am yet? That's right, I'm a chef. Have you ever got dressed up in your mum or dad's clothes? Why don't you have a try and send us a picture? A chef is someone who prepares wonderful meals and today's story is about food. Isaac has become very old and it was now time for him to say a special prayer for his firstborn son Esau. Isaac said to Esau to bring him his favourite stew so that he could eat it and bless him. Remember how Jacob and Esau were very different? Jacob loved cooking and Esau loved hunting. With the help of Rebecca, Jacob quickly prepared the stew for Isaac. Jacob pretended to be Esau. Let's read the story and find out how Jacob did that. Isaac had two sons who were twins, Esau and Jacob. Esau had been born first and Jacob a few minutes later. Esau grew up to be a tough wild hunter, something his father admired. Jacob tended to stay at home and became very close with their mother Rebecca. Isaac was old, his eyes were not good. He could, he could not see clearly. One day he call, called his oldest son Esau to see him. Isaac said, I am old, I don't know when I might die. So take your bow and arrows and go hunting in the field. Kill an animal for me to eat. Prepare the tasty food that I love. Bring it to me and I will eat. Then I will bless you before I die. So Esau went on out on a long trip. Rebecca was listening as Isaac said this to Esau and went to warn Jacob. Listen, I heard your father talking to your brother Esau. He said to him to hunt and prepare some tasty food. Then he promised to bless Esau. I have a plan that will get you the blessing instead. Go out and go out and bring me two young goats from the flock. I will prepare a meal the way your father likes, and he will think you are Esau and bless you instead. Jacob protested, My brother Esau is hairy and I am smooth skinned. If my father touches me, he will know I am not Esau and curse me for trying to trick him. Rebecca had taught him this promise. She dressed Jacob in Esau's clothes. Then she took the skins off the goat and put them on Jacob's hand and neck. Now he felt hairy to touch. Jacob went to his father Isaac with the tasty food and the bread Rebecca had made. I am Esau, your first son, Jacob lied. I have done what you asked. Now sit up and eat some meat I hunted for you. Then bless me. How did you find and kill the animal so quickly? Jacob asked. The Lord God led me to find it quickly, Jacob lied. Come near so I can touch you, Isaac asked. You know my sight is gone, but if I can feel your hand, I will know if you are really my son Esau. Jacob came near and Isaac held him. Your voice sounds like Jacob's, but your hands are hairy like the hands of Esau. Jacob asked, 
Are you really my son Esau? Jacob lied again. Yes, I am. So Isaac gave his blessing to Jacob, saying, May nations serve you. May people bow down to you. May you be a master over your brothers. May your mother's sons bow down to you. May everyone who curses you be cursed, and may everyone who blesses you be blessed. Just as Jacob left his father Isaac, Esau came in from hunting. Esau prepared some tasty food and brought it to his father. He said, Father, rise and eat this food that your son killed for you, then bless me. Isaac asked, Who are you? Esau replied, I am your firstborn son, Esau. Isaac trembled. Then who was that in the hunt who was that it that hunted the animals and brought me food before you came? I ate it and I blessed him. It is too late now to take back my blessing. Esau immediately let out a loud and bitter cry. Bless me too, my father, he pleaded. But Isaac said, your brother came and tricked me. He has taken your blessing. I gave Jacob the power to be master over you and all his brothers will be servants. There is nothing left to give you. Esau began to cry out loud. Do you have only one blessing, father? Isaac replied, you will live far away from the best land, far from the rain. You will live by using your sword and be a slave to your brother. But when you struggle, you will break free from him. After that, Esau hated Jacob because of what he had done. Esau taught himself, thought to himself, my father will soon die and I will be sad for him. After that, I will kill Jacob. Rebecca heard about Esau's plan to kill Jacob, so she sent him away to live with her brother, Laban and Haran. Stay with Laban until your brother has calmed down, she said. Then I will send a servant to bring you back. I don't want to lose both of my sons on the same day. What Jacob did was wrong, because he pretended to be Esau and took Esau's blessing. We should wait patiently for our turn, and we shouldn't lie to get what is not ours. Although Jacob pretended to be Esau, God still had mercy on him and allowed him to get the blessing. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for my family. Help me not to lie to my family. Help me to make you happy and not sad. Amen. Don't forget to have fun whilst dressing up. And we'd love to see a picture of you. So please send an image to the address below. See you next time. Bye.